recorded this song on Halloween uh, because I wanted to record a song on Halloween and I asked John Sheehan from the Dubliners would he would he consider playing on this song with me because I wanted to write a song for Lisa that was worthy of her ears and uh, so I wrote it in the tradition in the folk tradition and John Sheehan came to my house and he, he played some violin which is the next part of the song which I'm I guess I'm not really doing, but it goes. And because John came to my house and we recorded this song together on Halloween, uh, I asked him to come and play with me a few times on stage which he did very gracefully. And for me, it was a huge honor to, to play with a Dubliner. Uh, and uh, I asked him to come to New York with me. I played Carnegie Hall last, last January, I believe. Maybe it, was, maybe it was later in the year. And John came, and uh, John is 77. And he stood on the stage at Carnegie Hall, and he said, yes, yes lads. <laughs> he told a lovely story. He said, the Dubliners never got to play Carnegie Hall. The Clancy's did. <laughs> and uh, uh, he talked about how Liam Clancy had, had, had uh, put in a good word at the Ed Sullivan Show in 1965. Uh, and the Dubliners had Seven Drunken Nights. It was a big hit. I think it was number one in England. Uh, and uh, they had gone to New York, and it was the Dubliners' great chance of, you know, getting into the world of the Clancy's and getting into the world of the Irish diaspora in America. And uh, apparently during the sound check of the, of the Ed Sullivan show, Ed himself passed through the room while the lads were rehearsing the song and apparently canceled their performance based on the idea that it was a blasphemous, this is a blasphemous song. And so the Dubliners got canceled and their big break in America never happened because surely had the Ed Sullivan show, had the Dubliners on, it would have been an instant, it would have been an instant hit. So it was indirectly, uh, through Lisa and through my encounter with Lisa that evening, we somehow <laughs> got the Dubliners on stage in Carnegie Hall for that moment. Uh, it was, It is extraordinary how these things happen. Uh, but anyway, that's just the imagination working there. But uh, that leads me then to, I suppose, right, so I suppose I'll go here then. The true worth of 
passions flesh and the queen of hearts still making tarts and I not make For I loved too much, and by such, by such is happiness thrown away. I gave her gifts of the mind I gave her a secret sign that's known to the artist to have known the true gods of sound and stone and with word and tent I did not stand I gave her poems to say With her own name there And her own dark hair Like clouds over fields of May On a quiet street where old ghosts meet, I see her walking now. Away from me so hurriedly, my reason must allow that I have not as I should a creature may you claim for when the angel woos the clay he lose his wings at the dawn of